who gives this who gives this woman to be married to this man? Yay. <laughs> I'm going to just step over here just a little bit. Everybody can grab a seat. Well, uh, uh, a third of you can grab a seat. <laughs> uh, we're just really, really excited that you guys uh, get to share this moment. That you guys get to be a witness of the marriage of uh, Christopher and Catherine. That uh, I was uh, I was having breakfast with them and I said, get really excited for this day. Because it's just going to be absolutely extraordinary. And so it's an invitation for everybody. Get, get really, really excited about today. Because an absolutely extraordinary event is about to take place as you guys pledge and commit your love to one another. Yeah, just to open up this time, I'm just going to uh, share a prayer, and uh, we'll get started. Yeah, so J Jesus, we just uh, thank you for today. We just thank you, God, for this moment. Lord, this dream that you've had in your heart from before all of eternity. Yeah, that you dreamed of, of bringing Chris and Katie together. That this was a dream of your heart from long ago. So God, we just celebrate with you. We just celebrate with heaven today. We just ask that your spirit would just be part of this. Yeah, that you would overwhelm us just with your love. Just the love that you have for uh, Chris and for Kate. Yeah, we just, uh, we just bless this time together. In Jesus' name, amen. So, I, I uh, was told I got 15 minutes today, which I said, wait a second, that's like an introduction for me. You guys are tying two hands behind my back. But uh, uh, Chris and, and Katie, when you guys asked me to officiate this, I was so excited and so honored. And uh, for those of you that don't know, this is my very first wedding that I'm officiating. And I'll always remember it. I will. <laughs> Thank you. Save the applause for the bride and groom. <laughs> so I was really, really excited. And as I was kind of praying and thinking about what I was going to share today, I was thinking, oh, I'm going to really revolve my message around love. Like this is really the center of marriage, the center of God's heart, the center of God's heart for the two of you. But he kept talking to me about joy. That this was a day that was... Uh, going to be filled with joy. And uh, so the verse that I picked out, just to center my thoughts around, are from Psalms. And it, it's a short, simple verse. It's, it's, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And uh, I like to make my own translations of the Bible. <laughs> Most of them aren't heretical, so I think they're all pretty legit. But anytime I, I read a verse, I like to add just kind of my own language to it. So the verse that I have for you guys is, This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us get radically excited. Let's get overwhelmingly enthusiastic just about this occasion. And uh, as I was kind of sharing thoughts with Chris and Kate, I, just, uh, I was just telling them, you know, moments like these... Like God, he, he enters into the very middle of them. And sometimes we have a picture of God and he's like really far off and he's really distant and we don't know too often if he's all that interested. But I was just impressing upon their hearts that, oh, he's overwhelmingly interested. He's super excited and he's not the guy that's far off, God that's far off and distant, but he's got the God that's so, so close. And he's the kind of God that's not far off in the distance, but he's in the front row. And I want you to know that your Papa in heaven, he's in the front row today. And he's, sometimes I always just like to picture what his face would look like. Well, I'll give you just a demonstration. It's huge smile. It's really, really big. And it's full of laughter. It says in Psalms 2, it says that the God who sits in the heavens, he laughs continuously. 
that at the very center of his heart is love, but at the very center of his heart is also joy. And I was just thinking about those thoughts, and I was thinking how they corresponded to the two of you. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let's rejoice. Let's get really glad in it. That he wants you to know that as you guys have found love with one another, that it was in the very center of his heart that you guys would find each other. It says, from everlasting to everlasting is the love of God for those that fear him, for those that put his trust in him. From everlasting. So as far as you can think this direction, and as far as you can think that direction, his love is with you. And it, there's a really interesting verse that talks about uh, the prophet Jeremiah that says, Before you were born, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. In Psalms 139, it talks about how he fashioned us together in our mother's womb. He put us together. Every facet of us, every gift, every talent, it was an idea of the Father's heart. And I really believe it was the idea of his heart that you guys would be brought together in marriage. And it's, uh, it's so, so special. So he's in the front row. He's celebrating with you guys. Actually, there's a, a verse that says he sings and he dances over us. He absolutely rejoices and delights in our special occasions and in life's biggest moments. And it's not just uh, this day, but as you guys pledge your love one another, it's he's right there saying I do's. He's right there with you guys saying the I do. So as you guys say, yeah, I commit my life completely to one another. He's actually right there shouting the same thing. Hey guys, I completely commit my love to you. I commit, I fully commit my love, my blessing over you. That, um, that as you guys share in your commitment, he also shares in his. I think it's awesome. It's really, really neat. Um, just the last thing that I had for you. Uh, it 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 uh it really is about honor. But anyways, he's not only the God in in the front row who's really celebrating this moment, but he actually knows intimate details about all the things that he's placed inside of you. So as we kind of go from this day as you guys are launched into your marriage, just want you to know that he'll tell you different things about each other that he's placed inside of you. And so I just kind of felt kind of for the last part of this uh, message, I just wanted to share some of the things that I really feel like both of you carry that he's placed inside of you. And as you guys continue on in your marriage, you'll be able to look each other, look at each other, and you won't uh, just look at the person that you uh, married, but also the, just the amazing uh, gift that God is giving to you. So for Katie, there's a lot of things that stand out to you, about you, to me, and I just felt like uh, there's a lot of joy that you carry and that you release, and you release it into your family, and you release it into your relationship. But I felt like the big thing that God was really impressing on my heart about you is you have an extraordinary faithfulness and loyalty. And I really felt, too, like um, you're just really tenacious for the people that you love. And so I just felt like, Chris, today you get one who's tenacious, She's going to fight for you. She's going to fight for your family. She's got your back. <laughs> that you'll never have somebody that really um, yeah, fights for you more, that encourages you, that will really take you to a place that you never even dreamed of, even for yourself. And I felt like for you, Chris, one of the things that I remember just from your... Um, just from your shower, was Katie said the number one thing that she really appreciated about you and loved about you and cherished about you was how good of a dad you are. And so I just felt like um, today, like God just really wanted to impress that, man, you're just amazing. Amazing in how you love and take care of after your children, but also just the way that you love and cover 
uh, your soon-to-be wife. It's amazing, just the compassion, the tenderness that you show, but just the strength as well. And so from this time forward, whether it's a good day or a bad day, just remember that person that you're really committing yourself to. The person that's going to fight for you. The person that's going to love, cherish, look after you. The person that's going to push you to a place you could just never get to yourself. So, what we're going to do is we're going to um, do the vows now. And so... I'll just recite the vow, and at the end, I'll just ask you to respond. So first for Christopher. Christopher Donald Carlson, will you take Catherine Marie Westergren to be your true and lawful wife? And in the presence of God and these witnesses, will you vow that you will love her and will continue to feed your love for Catherine from the best resources of your living? Will you stand by her in all of life's situations, in times of testing and in times of blessing, in adversity and in prosperity, in the shadow of life's dark moments as in the sunshine of joy-filled days? And will you now give yourself to her, all that you are and all that you possess as a faithful husband? Will you forsake all others and keep yourself to her alone for as long as you both shall live. If so, say, I will. Catherine Marie Westergren, will you take Christopher Carlson to be your true and lawful husband? And in the presence of God and these witnesses, will you vow that you will love him and will continue to feed your love for him from the best resources of your living? And will you stand by him in all of life's situations, in times of testing and in times of blessing, in adversity and in prosperity, in the shadows of life's dark moments as in the sunshine of joy-filled days? And will you now give yourself to him all that you are and all that you possess as a faithful wife? Will you forsake all others and keep yourself to him alone for as long as you both shall live? If so, say, I will. You guys have chosen rings to seal your covenant to one another. So if at this point, if I could have the rings. Chris, will you take the wing for, or uh, ring the wing? For Catherine, and as you place this ring on Katie's finger, repeat this promise after me. With this ring, I take you to be my best friend, my faithful partner, and my one true love. I promise to value, support, honor, encourage, and inspire you and to love you truly truly <laughs> through good times and bad I will I will forever be there to laugh with you lift you up when you are down and love you unconditionally through all of our adventures in life Katie, will you take this ring and you, as you place it on Christopher's finger, will you repeat this promise after me? With this ring, I take you to be my best friend, my faithful partner, and my one true love. I promise to value, support, honor, encourage and inspire you and to love you 
truly through good times and bad. I will forever be there to laugh with you, lift you up when you are down, and love you unconditionally through all of our adventures in life. At this time, if I could have the parents come forward, and if we could get Kleenex for our bride. And we're going to speak just a blessing over the two of you guys as a couple. So if you guys could just gather around them. And I'll just have you guys just place a soft hand on their shoulder. And as you do, it's just an impartation of love and blessing. That you guys as parents are committed to loving and covering them as a husband and a wife. So right now, we just speak a blessing over the two of you. Yeah, we just say, God, we just ask that you would bless Christopher and Catherine. God, that you would bless this marriage. God, I just pray, Lord, that uh, you would just be the fulfiller of their dreams, God, the dreams that they have for one another. God, I just uh, thank you for the days in front of them. We thank you for the days in front of their family. But God, we just know that you're a good God and you've got extraordinary things for these two. So we're just so thankful to be part of today. And just as a family, as parents, as friends, we just commit just to loving you, blessing you, and encouraging you uh, through your guys' journey together. So we just thank you, God, for this moment and for this day. Amen. This is it, guys. It's the grand finale. <laughs> Upon the promises you have freely made before God and the witnesses who have gathered here today, I now pronounce you to be husband and wife. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be yours to enjoy in ever-increasing measure. Chris? You may now kiss your beautiful bride. <laughs>